The field for the O'Reilly Parts 300 is officially set. Hello, NASCAR fans. Jonathan Mozart here for JM Sports 100 and JMSports.org. How is that going? I am very, very excited about tonight's race. Racing under the lights. Uh, coverage for the NASCAR Nationwide Series race can be seen starting at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN2 with countdown to green. So about three or about three hours away. Or so uh, before we get to that, uh, two, three, four hours away, depending on where you are, before we get to that. Uh, let me tell you this. If qualifying was any indication of what we can expect, qualifying was very, very interesting. I'm very, very excited for tonight's race. Uh, a lot of loose race cars in qualifying until we got to the very end. We had a lot of race cars complain about being tight on their qualifying runs. Um, and then we also saw a very, very interesting technique, which I'll talk about in a second, that almost got a cup veteran the nationwide poll. Uh, so we will talk about that, of course. Once again, remember the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300 is ran tonight on ESPN2, 8 o'clock Eastern Time is when the coverage starts, so just a couple of hours away from that. Um, let's take a look, first of all, at nationwide, the nationwide standings before we talk about... Uh, how they will line up for tonight's event. Uh, remember, they have not run in a couple of weeks. Elliot Sadler does have a eight, an 18 point lead on Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Austin Dillon is 27 back in third. Trevor Bain is fourth, 34 points back. However, he is not running this weekend. He does not have a nationwide ride. Uh, Sam Hunter Jr. is 5th, 54 points back. Cole Witt is 6th, 63 points back. Michael Annette, who is a big surprise. Uh, not because of Michael Annette. Michael Annette, a very talented driver, but that team that he races for was a last-minute put-together right before Daytona. Uh, Taylor Melsom is 8th. I don't... Uh, yeah, I believe he is running. I don't know I think about. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if he is or not. We'll find out. Uh, he is 8th. Justin Elgeyer is ninth. Justin Elgeyer is uh, 88 points back. 10th is Mike Bliss, 95 points back. Uh, and Jerry Clements is 11th, 102 points back. Alrighty, let's take a look at how they will line up for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. 45 cars went for 43 positions. Uh, let's go through the lineups, and then I'll tell you the two guys who did miss the show. Uh, starting shotgun on the field will be Kevin LePage. 42nd, Eric McClure. 41st, Betty Gordon. 40th, TJ Bell. 39th, Robert Richardson Jr. 38th, uh, Tim Shandell. 37th, Jeremy Clements. Uh, 36th, Chase Miller. 35th, Scott Speed. 34th, Scott Riggs. 33rd, Joe Nemechek. 32nd, Josh Wise. 31st, Kelly Byers. 30th, da uh, uh, David Reagan. 29th, Blake Cook. 28th, for Taylor Nelson. 27th, for Eric Darnell. 26th for Timmy Hill, 25th for Danny Eflin, 24th for Mike Wallace, 23rd for Jason Bowles, 22nd Jeff Green, 21st Kyle Fowler, good run for him, Dale Earnhardt Jr., 20th, he had a wicked, wicked bobble coming off of turn 4 to take the green flag for his first qualifying lap, he had a wicked bobble coming off of 4 of his warm-up lap, I guess is what I'm trying to say, so he had a horrible first lap, Rebounded had a good second lap, but uh, the later you went, definitely the more it uh, really helped you um, in the session. Ryan Truex starts 19th, number he's in the 09. He's normally driven by Kenny Wallace. Uh, 18th for Mike Lynette, 17th for Danica Patrick. She did go out really late, but she had a hard, hard time with a tight race car. She starts 17th. 16th for Justin Elgar, 15th for Johanna Long. Good run for her. Uh, qualifying wise, 14th for Sam Hornish Jr., 13th Brad Keselowski, 12th for Joey Logano, 11th uh, Brian Scott, 10th Mike Bliss, who is an unsponsored car, so good run for him. Steve Arpin is back in the Nationwide Series. He had a great qualifying run in the machine that James Busher drove to victory lane in Daytona. He will take the green flag in 9th tomorrow, uh, or t tonight rather. Uh, Casey Kane, 8th. He was on the pole. Uh, really, until late in the session, and then, like I said, the later you went, the better uh, you were. Seventh for Cole Witt, sixth for Kurt Busch, who is in the Kyle Busch Motorsports Machine. Kyle not running this weekend. 
Uh, Elliot Sadler, fifth. Austin Dillon, fourth. Ricky Stenhouse, Jr., third. And then your front row, the 18 of Denny Hamlin and the 33 of Paul Menard. Uh, Menard getting the pole. Denny Hamlin was the one that tried the interesting strategy on the qualifying session on his warm-up lap. Uh, and after his warm-up lap, he did not try very hard in his warm-up lap. He did not take the green uh, very fast either. He still was not up to speed when he took the green flag for his first lap, which kind of left everybody stumped. Is there something wrong with that number 18 machine? No, indeed, there was not. He uh, basically admitted that he did that on purpose. He had an idea, he tried it, and it worked. He was slowest of the whole field on his first lap, fastest on his second lap. That lasted until he was uh, knocked off of the uh, pole by the eventual pole sitter, uh, Paul Menard. Like I said, two drivers had to take the uh, trek home, and those would be Morgan Shepard and John Jackson, who worked hard to get their machines ready this weekend, but will fall just a little bit short of making the race. I do think, like I said, it's going to be a very, very interesting race. A lot of cool paint schemes, too. I love racing under the lights. I love uh, cool paint schemes under the lights. I love cool paint schemes, period, but especially under the lights, and there's a lot of cool ones uh, out there uh, this weekend. So definitely some, uh, some bright ones that you'll definitely see. I love Joey Logano's. Uh, GameStop Batman 2 paint scheme. That one is a really, really cool one. Uh, you know, look for Paul Menard to be good. Paul Menard runs good at, at uh, nationwide races at tracks like Texas. Uh, look for Denny Hamlin, obviously. Uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Austin Dillon. Pretty much anybody um, starting up front. Uh, to be honest, I don't expect Johanna Long to have as good of a run as her qualifying effort. Um, Show it. I do think Danica Patrick's going to have a good run. I think she needs it. I think she's going to get it. Uh, look for Mike Bliss to have a good run. I'm also excited to see what Steve Arpin does. So, those are just also some drivers to keep an eye on. Once again, do not forget, coverage starts at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN2 for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. Alrighty, in just a little bit, the Cup Cars will take to the track for Cup Series qualifying, followed by a Cup Series preview that will be uploaded. And then uh, later on tonight, after the Nationwide Race, your Nationwide Recap. So still two more NASCAR videos to come, NASCAR fans. So stick tight, stay with me. I am John Lombard from JM Sports 100 and JMSports.org. Enjoy your Riley Auto Parts 300. I'm out. I'll see you later. Peace.